Aldo, how's the makeup counter today? Everything's fine, except the new girl's not in yet. She isn't. She mm -mm. should have been. Actually, she's not even new. She used to work here about six years ago. Mm. She should have been here by now. Where is she? I was beginning to think you'd never come. Well, a girl likes a little foreplay, that's all. <laughs> you know you did your best. <laughs> but I thought we weren't going to talk about last night. Yes, we did. Uh, I'd like you to meet our counter salesman, Naldo. Okay, let me know when he gets here. Until then, who is this adorable little girl? <laughs> I'm not a little girl, I'm Naldo. My bad. Sorry about that, Naldi. <laughs> but, uh, you know what they say about Mexican men. What? We look like girls? <laughs> no, silly. Filipino men look like girls. <laughs> Kathy, remember what I told you last night. Sit on my weenie and I'll guess your weight? <laughs> After that, 120 pounds. Uh, no, Kathy. 125. Kathy. Would you buy 130? No. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the sketch. Take care. Uh, bye, bye. Thank you so much. You know what? If we're going to be working together, you should know that I'm a little sensitive about Latino jokes. Okay. Oh, sorry. So sorry about that. My bad. See, I thought you'd be sensitive about the midget jokes. <laughs> You know, and uh, all this time, I've been holding back saying that you're smaller than the chances of a monkey bone sequel. <laughs> you know what? I can't work like this. Wow, a Mexican man not working. Well, you're going to stand out from your peers. <laughs> okay, you know what? I can handle it here. Why don't you make like Richard Simmons and slip out the back door? Off you go. Thanks so much. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. I wonder what's going to happen next. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Vanco. How may I help you? I need some assistance here. <laughs> you know what? Mm, yeah, no, I'm so sorry, but we don't allow dogs in this store. Yeah, and that goes for the poodle as well. <laughs> what do you have for wrinkles? Okay, sweetheart, the only thing that's gonna get rid of those wrinkles is a time machine or death. <laughs> And we're fresh out of time machine, so good luck. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do? Slip in the tub and break your hip? <laughs> I'm going to talk to your manager about getting you fired. Okay, suit yourself, but I'm boinking the boss, so that's a bigger waste of time than a black man applying for credit. <laughs> Maybe out of profits, they have a glass ceiling in this country, man. There's nothing I can do about it. Excuse me, lady, can you help me? Oh! <laughs> yes, I sure can, with three words. Clear, uh, seal. I can't find my mom. Oh, pumpkin, maybe she fell into one of your pores. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 anyone in there? <laughs> wow, I haven't seen that many blackheads since the Million Man March. <laughs> What? Sweetie, I was just trying to be helpful. I'm like, oh, he's a sensitive little one, isn't he? Hi, <laughs> welcome to the uncle. How may I help you? Can you give me a hand here? Mm, normally, I like dinner and flowers first, but <laughs> meet me in the men's room, third stall, ten minutes. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I joke. No, I need a hand getting some makeup. Okay, well, happy gay pride day, RuPaul. <laughs> it's not for me, it's for my wife. And what is his name? <laughs> I'm straight. Of course you are, Tinkerbell. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to Excuse start with me? some lip liner? Okay, you know, sir, I don't come raise in here your voice at me and my... I come in here okay. all the time. La, la, I la, 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 la,
the plan. Off you go. Shoot. Shoot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Kathy. Well, look at this. It's two guys, a girl, and a pizza face. <laughs> Kathy, I want to have a word with you. Uh-oh. Is this the part where I get fired? No. You were fired in a scene very similar to this about six years ago. Oh. Then you came crawling back, and I thought you were going to be nicer, but you're not. You're just as evil as ever. You put down all of these nice people. Haven't you learned anything since you've been away? Funny you should ask. What's with the castle? The monkey in this movie. It's a super smash box office monkey movie. That's right. Is this the first time he's ever done a voice for an animated movie? Yeah, apparently Disney's been trying to get him for years. He just never could work it out in the schedule. I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, I hear you. Guys. I'm here to save this movie. I'm here to save... <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. I love this movie. What a great script. I think this movie is going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger's number one smash box office smash movie, box office draw, movie that... The... Uh, why is he wearing a monkey costume? I don't know, you tell me. Super Smash box office movie of all time! <laughs> Mr. Schwarzenegger, uh, we can't hear you through the glass, but uh, we'll, we'll be right out. Oh, I got it, yeah. This glass, this reminds me of the cryogenic chamber in my Super Smash box office movie, End of Days. It's brilliant, look at that. Yeah. How you doing, Arnold? I'm Tom, the director. Hi, Tom, the director. I'm Arnold, the Super Smash box office multi-billion dollar movie millionaire. And I already know all my lines. I already know all my lines. It's cool. But well, listen, I uh, I gotta ask you, man. Uh, what's what's with the costume? <laughs> well, that's because in this movie I play a monkey. I play a monkey in this movie. It's a Super Smash box office monkey movie. That's why. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's cool. Yeah. You're getting into character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, listen. This is um, this is Emil, our sound engineer. Hey, hey how you doing? How are you, Emil? Right. Hey, Emil. I had you for dinner last night. Yeah. Emil, I had you for dinner. I had you for dinner. I had a meal for dinner. A meal is the name. I had a meal for dinner. A meal. Yeah. That's a super funny joke. We should use that in this big Super Smash box office movie, Monkey Movie. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Look, now, as you know, this is Disney's sequel to Tarzan. Yeah. And in this, you play Tarzan's best friend, a little monkey named Dalamini. Okay, Dal... Dalamini. Dal 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 Dalamini. Dal 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 I think we should name the monkey Scooter. Well, we already recorded some other dialogue where they call you Dalamini. Oh, come on, Scooter. It's a great monkey name for the Super Smash box office monkey movie. Scooter. You know what? It, Scooter is. Scooter yeah, is. You ready to lay one down? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. But uh, I have to ask you, this is the scene with the monkey. He's in the recording studio. I don't remember reading that one in the script. <laughs> monkey in a recording studio. That's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Now, actually, this is the scene where Dalamini 
comes and... Scooter, and Scooter. You call me Scooter now. Scooter. Uh, yeah, scooter okay. uh, finds out from the elephants that the coconut's poison. Okay, that's great. Brilliant. Let's do it. Come on. Bring in the elephants now. <laughs> you see, th th there are no elephants. See, we actually recorded their voices yesterday with Mel Brooks and DMX. No elephants. Uh, you don't need to worry. We can just play back the voices. I get it. This brilliant man you're working with, a meal for dinner. This guy, the most elephants, the invisible, invisible elephants. That's perfect for this big smash box office monkey elephant movie. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you ready to try one? Yeah, I already know all my lines. I'm super ready. Let's go. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, the scene 42, take one. Dalamini, you got the tail Tarzan that the vultures poisoned the coconuts. Yeah, yeah, Scooter tell Tarzan. But first, Scooter wants a bite of coconut. I don't know. Do you have any idea what he is doing? It's too late. It's too late. I already ate coconut. And scene. Yeah. How is that? Uh, yeah, Arnold, that was great, except you were nowhere near the microphone. Yeah, I didn't really pick up any of it. Yeah, uh, listen, Arnold, uh, are you, uh, familiar with how animation works? No, no idea. <laughs> well, uh, have you ever seen a cartoon? Uh, cartoons, yeah, I love cartoons. The Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. They're super great actors. I love it. When the buttercup gets mad, she's the... Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's just like the Powerpuff Girls, except longer. And, and in this, you do one of the voices of the character. <laughs> Tom, the director, what do you tell me? I do voice all the time. Maria, she loves them at home. Yeah, this is a voice I do. It's a little baby mouse. I call him Uncle Choo Choo. <laughs> I am Uncle Choo Choo. I'm a little baby mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Hey, Tom the director, I also do impressions. This is Robert De Niro. You looking at me? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. There's no one else here. It's fine, you must be looking at me. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think? Uh, I think it's a wrap. That's a great idea, Tom the director. A rapping monkey. It's perfect for the new Smash Box Office monkey movie. <laughs> my name is Arnold S. and I'm here to say my new monkey movie is the way. My friend is Tarzan. This is Tarzan too. It's a super Smash Box Office monkey movie just for you. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm Will Sasso, and we're at the Blockbuster Awards. Uh, Mr. Beatty? Mr. Beatty? Warren uh, Beatty? Mr. Beatty, would you like to? Mr. Beatty? Warren Beatty? Hi. Hi. Beatty. I'm Alex Forstein. And I'm Will Sasso, and we're at the Blockbuster Awards. Do you have a Blockbuster video card? I do. Do you have any late fees? We actually have, we some, have, information. We have some information. <laughs> yes. Late. You actually are late. $341. $341 for late uh, Fievel Goes West. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here all night. What do you guys think of this new trend with movies? You know, they got the computer graphics and stuff. Now, uh, movies are going to be using a lot of puppets. A lot of well, puppetry. What do you think of that? scary movie too right now? Yeah, well, all puppets. We're it's doing all puppets. A, yeah, no, a just, lot of puppetry. They just took their hand out of my ass today out of the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> a long process to have your hand. For a whole movie, two months with a hand up your ass? Real clever. Well, it's my brother. He's directing right. it, so right. I feel comfortable <laughs> with his hand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody, we got Frankie Muniz. It's time to sing the, sing the Frankie Muniz theme song. Hey! hey. 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 It's Frankie Muniz, Frankie Muniz. We got for the, for the person who goes longest with their acceptance speech, we're going to be giving them a George Foreman grill. You are up for, for, for English singing awards and Spanish singing awards. <laughs> yeah, I'm up for um, best female artist, uh, favorite female artist anyway, and um, Latin, Latin album. So it's now, exciting. I want to say right now, we are all expecting if you win the Latin one, you have to give the speech in Spanish. Working on that, working on that. <laughs> Will you talk to us from that TV? Oh. Are you allowed? You have your own mind. Would you like to use it? Come on, you can make oh, your Mr. own Oh, Mr. Bainey, decisions. please. <laughs> All right. In life. Yes, we yes, understand. yes. Almost gone. Oh, wow. we yeah, almost got so close. Warren I got him to look at us. You're a big guy. Yeah, I'm a big guy. You want to fight? 
<laughs> tonight, I'm too smooth tonight. Come on. You want to you wanna wrestle? Arm wrestling? Wow. Leg wrestling. Is he always like this? That's for you, big guy. Wow. You need to chop him down a That's couple layers. Hey, you know, you he like thinks he's idiot, so tough. Will. You're sounding like an ass. This is Fox. You can't say ass. Oh. You bitch. The mad TV thing you did about me? That was funny. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. But why don't you guys have me on the show, man? At least they could have me clowning me, you know? You know what? Because I don't think you nailed it at all. I, I haven't said yo or dog you know in this sentence. You said, you said holy macaroni once. Yo, yo, dog. Yo, yo, drink my shit. Can I say that you are much better looking than Will? Oh. I don't... Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. No. I don't know. I just got drafted in a, a war. war. <laughs> that was the best. Right. From, hey, you know, for the longest acceptance speech tonight, we're going to give this to you in good faith. George Foreman girl, if you guys have the longest acceptance speech. And my last question, would any of you um, ever date a girl with a large behind? I got the beef, you bring the bun. <laughs> the Charlie's Angels just can't walk by. They want to get to that food in the green room, you know those girls. Yeah, they, they, they win an award no, no, no. together? <laughs> we're going to get Warren Beatty. We're gonna get Warren Beatty back here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Beatty. Mr. Beatty? Beatty? Uh, Mr. Beatty? Beatty? Mr. Beatty, would you like to? Mr. Beatty, Warren Beatty. Hi. Hi. Would you like to come talk to the Blockbuster Awards? You're giving you an award. Mr. Hoffman, would you like to talk to us from the Blockbuster Awards show? It's Passover. Enjoy. <laughs> wow. You gotta... hates me. Have you returned all your movies on time? Uh, I'm late a lot of the time, yeah, actually. I'll say, we got Michelle Pfeiffer's late list. Bachelor party. You've had that since 1988. No. It says. <laughs> Yeah. Be a Turner life. and Hooch. <laughs> a lot of Tom no, Hanks movies no, here. No. You got Turner and Hooch you've had for two weeks, not returning that. Any, it. Anytime soon. You got Transformers the movie. All right, that one I have. All right. Have yeah. you ever had um, a, a tape melt in the back of your car? No. I've got records here that say that Conan the Destroyer was, was uh, damaged or melted. <laughs> One baby, one baby, one baby's looking for you. What? You sure? Well, we're looking for. Are you, I, I honestly, know where he's been. He's been twice. Well, we he's hear that Warren Beatty is looking for us. This is getting very exciting. I'm just trying to find out if you want to fight. That's all I want to do. I see it. Out back. back. After this is over with me and you. Because I think I can take you. What do you, what do you have to say to that? We are with the Blockbuster Award. We have yeah. Dustin Hoffman and Warren Beatty. I'm Will. My name's Will. Hey, Will. Hello, How are you? Are you? I'm Alex. She made me feel guilty before she said it was Passover. It is Passover. How do you know, Andrew? I took a little guess. Oh, I Andrew. felt the bomb. Oh. How do you know that Warren isn't there Jewish? There was a glow around you. Oh, there is a glow. <laughs> there is a glow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you want to know what's embarrassing? We've been trying to get uh, that, Warren Beatty and Dustin, Hoss D Dustin no. Hoffman over here all night, and yeah. now we don't have any questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing right there. Oh, oh that's, that's the... Uh, yeah, the, we, we also right. wanted to let you know that the, uh, that the uh, World Entertainer oh, Award... Great. Thank that's you. not really the award. This is the award. Where is George? <laughs> huh? Isn't that George Foreman? It is. Yeah, that's yeah. George Foreman. Where is he? I like George Foreman. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> what should I do with it? It's for you to keep. It's yours. It is. It's you presented tonight. This is your party gift. Yeah. That's, it'll take Thank the girl. You. All right, guys. See, that's what you wait for all night. How exciting is that? Blockbuster Awards. Alex will... Fun over. Good night. <laughs> Chris Kirkpatrick from InSync. Let's welcome him, huh? <laughs> How about that? You are watching Cable Access Channel 137, serving the entire community of Cal State Fullerton and parts of Yorba Linda. Look at this. Look at that. This and that with Rusty, but you probably already know because there is a whole song. <laughs> anyway, um, this is home base of This and That with Rusty, which you already know about. But anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, I'm pretty excited. If it seems like I'm a little more scattered than normal, it's because I have a very special guest with me today. He has his own clothing line, which is pretty cool. And he also happens to be in a band, and his name is Chris Kirkpatrick from InSync. Let's welcome him, huh? <laughs> How about that, huh? How about it? Huh? Have a seat. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Chris. Um, so you have, um, in addition to a couple of hit singles, 
You have a clothing line. Yeah, it's called uh, Fu Mosquito. I actually brought you a shirt that oh my God. Uh, you could wear. <laughs> Oh my God! This is from me and the guys. So. Okay, now wait. You just rattled through the title of the thing. What does Fu Manchu just... mean? I don't know. I just—it was just something I came up with with a buddy of mine. We were just like. I hope not... you weren't high. <laughs> <laughs> so now tell us about the clothing line. Basically, what happens is, you know, we have sellers that go out and sell it to. Because you're too busy. <laughs> You've got um. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I just spelled it. That's okay. So it was going to be a cursing type thing. No, I'm not into cursing either. Well, see, because that's—I mean, our image is kind of clean cut, and we don't. Okay, do I'm sorry. I'm too wild for in sync. <laughs> okay, well, let me just say a couple things where I think we're alike. A, we both like fashion. <laughs> B, we're both very good dancers, and if I may. Okay. Um, can you just maybe do a little singing and I'll, uh, to one of your songs and then I'll show you a couple of moves? No. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't know if you understand. I came here to talk about the clothes. Oh, okay. And to, you know, to, cool. Okay, I've got an InSync quiz. I'll, I'll say, I am the tallest in InSync. And then I will show the picture that I think it is. And you okay. tell me if I got it right. Okay. All right? Cool. Okay. I am... The meanest one in NSYNC. Mm, that would probably be me. Okay, that's, that's what I got that right to. Okay, I am the most impatient when it comes to business. That would probably be Lance. Okay, so now I said that was going to be you. Okay, I am the one who... People talk the most about unflatteringly behind their back. Well, I know who it would be, but I'm guessing you're probably going to say it's me again, aren't you? Okay, you are very good. <laughs> Isn't showbiz kind of up and down? Yeah, oh yeah. It's... You, so many people want to be around you when you're winning, and they want to be away from you when you're losing. See, for me, I found that people want to be around me about the same amount. <laughs> I'd really like to talk about the clothing line, if that's cool. Okay. What do you like better, elastic or pleats? <laughs> All right, this is just getting stupid. You know, I promise you, it's not half as stupid as it seems. A lot of times, I've said to myself, like, you know, I might be, oh, just, you know, dancing, let's say, like, I'm at a bus stop or All something, right, and look, I'm just dancing like that. <laughs> and then I think, wait a minute, that's stupid. And then I think, no, it's not. It's just life. All right, this is done. This is like, this. I was told this guy was going to be nice. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just before we go, it's a little this and that tradition. Would you mind having a little Zima with me? Are you serious? No, I'm rusty. <laughs> okay, but yeah. It, they, they're perfect now. They just got right to room temperature. Shall we? We'll just air. It's an air toast. Okay. Air. It is understood. <laughs> Good. Okay, now you're um, effing with me. Okay. You're cussing too much. Okay. I can't stand this. Hey, before you go, though, no, no, I'd no. just like to say thank you very much. This is ours. <laughs> that this is. Part. This yeah. and sink and that. <laughs> okay, this interview didn't go quite exactly as I had planned. But that's what life is all about. That's what this and that is all about. And I would just like to say that I think the in 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 sync stands for insane. <laughs> Thanks so much. Look at this. Look at that. Now it's time to sit and chat about this. About that. It's this and that. Because we... my gift and my gift is my music and my music is my gift because my gift is my music damn this book is itching I'm Allison K. 
King from Portland, New Jersey, and I requested Love Muffin because I told my friends how crazy Mariah is now, and nobody believed me. Tuesday and I'm from Queens and I requested Love Muffin because uh, I want Mariah to get some help. Mariah, put some clothes on, all right? Because we're sick of looking at it. I used to have street cred, now my face is red. Me and Snoop and my homeboy Jay-Z. We all know Mariah is crazy. I try to be real, but I gotta be frank. We only using her to get to the bank. Mariah, and I'm from Mars, and I requested Love Muffin so I could say, He's not losing novels, Neil. I'm not crazy. possible one million dollars all three contestants have managed to bank a stunningly awful nothing <laughs> once again the three still alive in the game are professor mcfuzzy <laughs> huckleberry <laughs> lorraine swanson <laughs> <laughs> now let's play the missing link <laughs> professor mcfuzzy we'll start with you while in the Galapagos Islands, he developed the theory of evolution. <laughs> I need an answer, please. Me, Tarzan, you moron. The answer's Charles Darwin. <laughs> Lorraine. Uh. Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. Uh, see, one of my teammates shanghaied my spectacles over here. <laughs> Lorraine. You are running out of time, and I am running out of patience. Your question. Yeah, I got a question over here. See, what do you call them little buggers right there? What are them? What are them, like, them chiggers or... Huh? I'm quite sure I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you one thing they are is tasty, yeah. <laughs> Lorraine, I'm going to have to ask you to step back huh? to your podium, please. Yeah, all right, you can get one for please, the road. Professor McFuzzy. <laughs> Fine, and now back to your podium, please. Sorry. Lorraine, your question, if I may. Yeah. Charlton Heston played a man tormented by apes in what? Epic. Yep. Epic. Yep. Epic. Yep. 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 In what? Yep. Epic. Yep. Epcot. <laughs> yeah, we've been there. You know, Carl, he got mugged in the parking lot. Thank goodness for those traveler's checks, though, because, oh, we'd have been us. Lorraine. Huh? We're out of time. Once again, no money banked, no correct answers, no intelligence in the contestant circle. <laughs> it is now time for the contestants to decide who is the Missy Link. The contestants are equally awful. Statistics are meaningless in this situation. I thought the human would have pulled away by now, but damn. Oh boy. One of you evolutionary screw-ups will be leaving us now. Professor McFuzzy, you didn't even pick up your pen. Huckleberry, you seem to imply that I should kiss your ass. <laughs> Lorraine, it looks like you drew some sort of a map. Uh, well, you know, I want to make sure that I could find my way back to the hotel from here. <laughs> Once again, I will have to make the decision as to who is... ...the missing link. Huckleberry, although I did not appreciate the slap on the ass, at least you made an effort. Professor McFuzzy, you are the missing link. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. 
And now it's time for the final round of The Missing Me. Oh, say, Annie, get a gander at this. I'm doing the monkey with the monkey. Oh. This round will prove to be as useful to our contestants as condoms on the women's tennis circuit. <laughs> Lorraine, you're not going to get this nor any other answer correct. So in order to save my time and my sanity, Lorraine, you are the busy link. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Boy, that Annie Banani, oh, she sure had a bee in her bonnet, huh? She's, she's what you'd call one of them, what do the kids of today call it? A biatch or biatch or something like that? Oh, those monkeys are cute. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Awards, 16 People's Choice Awards, 27 GLAAD Awards, 400 Golden Globes, and the Nobel Peace Prize. It's Must See TV's finest half hour, Will and Grace. What is it with straight guys and belching? <laughs> if I could figure out straight guys, I wouldn't be here with you homos. Hey, I am not a homo. You're a homo without the mo. Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a smart comedy that doesn't stereotype gay people, says the Washington Post. Oh, honey, is that whipped cream on your chin? Have you been down at the Y bobbin for boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> Not since Amos and Andy has a show been so smart and true to life. Oh, well, can't we just watch the basketball game? <laughs> ball. You said ball. <laughs> I wish I was gay. It looks like fun, gushes Dan Rather. Who needs vaginas with all these wonderful gays around, shouts Paul Harvey. And the best part is, boring old Will and Grace are hardly even in it. Hey, Will. Slut. Bitch. Cow. Queen. Diva. Fairy. Gypsy. Tramp. Thief. I heard it from the people, people in the town, they call me. <laughs> if they were black, this show would be on UPN, raves USA Today. These gays are so funny, they don't need to be cured, cries the Church of Scientology. I'm back. <laughs> I laughed so hard, I went out and got a BJ from a guy, raves Larry King. What's wrong, Will? My lover's afraid to come out of the closet. Huh. Well, honey, he should stay in that closet till he learns how to dress. Yeah, no one's going to pack his fanny if he keeps wearing that fanny pack. Oh. <laughs> Come on, America, bend over and take it up the chuckle hole. Grace, Thursdays on NBC, where the C stands for courageous. y'all can be. Did y'all enjoy the show? Yeah. Well, we have reached the end of what we like to call here in Hollywood, our season finale. We definitely hope you guys at home and here in the studio had as much fun this season as we did. I want to give a very special thanks to you guys for all your support over the years. We will be back for season seven, and I'd like to also extend a big thanks to these guys behind me, because every year they, they help me to continue to have fun and learn and grow. And I love these guys. They're my family. That's real. So with that being said, as always in parting, see you next year, same time, same channel. We out. Comedy Central is bringing you a brand new season of Distraction. <laughs> the game show that's easy on the brain and hard on the body. <laughs> Join host Jimmy Carr for an all-new season of Distraction. Premieres January 10th at 10. The buzzword is January. It's the first month of the year. It begins with the letter J. Uh, July. No, it rhymes with Manuary. It's stand-up month on Comedy Central. January! Yes. That's right, January is stand-up month on Comedy Central with comedy specials from Dave Chappelle, Christopher Titus, and more premiering all month long. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Stand-up month on Comedy Central, all January long. Rise of Manuary, good clue.